Welcome to another Great Scott demo. In this video, we will continue to discuss system preferences, particularly the desktop and the screensaver. If you go up to the upper left hand corner with me, click on your Apple icon, come down to system preferences. If you look down at your dock, you notice a slight bounce. You can get the system preferences from here also but I'll primarily stick with the way we've been going for simplicity. If you notice in the upper left hand corner under the he heading personal, you see desktop and screen saver. If you click that icon once, it opens up. If you notice right now, the background that we have for our desks, desktop is featured here in this thumbnail. And as I select others, you notice the thumbnail changes as well as what's featured on the desktop. You're able to select a single picture, any that you desire. I'll minimize this very quickly just so you can see the full picture. I currently don't have any pictures in my pictures folder since I've been keeping a pretty clean desktop for the purpose of demos. So we're going to use the ones that's built into your system. If you look down, you notice where it says change picture and then there's a time. The box is disabled now because we have to first select it, but if we select that box, you notice the picture immediately changes. And for the sake of this demo, I'm going to go back, select that first picture so you can see the order. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Change every instead of 15 minutes i'm going to change that to five seconds for the purpose of this demo and you should notice that the the next picture in order should be this one coming up pops up and then in five seconds right about now you should see that one and then going back to the top cycling through in five seconds there's the other one. What I like to do is select random, random order, and that way it will randomly select from the pool of pictures there, and they're not always cycling in that same order. Five seconds is re relatively quick and can become disorienting if you leave it that way, so we'll go back to 15 minutes. So now, every 15 minutes, my desktop picture will change to one of the ones here in this pool. If we select screensaver, much the same, that's the default screensaver for new users, which is this flurry. And you can select another one from that list. The one I actually like best is iTunes artwork, but unfortunately, as the note implies, your iTunes library does not contain any songs with artwork. I may revisit this later on after I actually load music onto this account. You notice that the screensaver will start in 20 minutes and you have from never kick on to one minute down to an hour, but we'll leave it at one minute for the sake of this demo. I'll select that original screensaver again to this to demo this next feature which is show clock when you select that option it actually will put the clock on the screen and some people like like that so if they have a screensaver kick on and you're sitting at your desk doing other work you can be mindful of the time you notice as we hover over the preview of the screen save itself we get the button that says preview there when we select that we're able to do a live preview of what the screen saver will look like after the time elapses for it to kick in and you notice it's this displaying the current local time where i am okay we'll go back up and i'm going to select some of these other ones such as slideshow from the slideshow heading Floating, I select that, and if you give it just a moment, you'll notice the picture's floating in 
from the bottom. Flip, it'll be better demo because the pictures load more fully and faster. And same as the random order from the desktop, if we leave it as it is, the pictures will load in order. But if you select shuffle order, there you go, the, the polar bear comes back up. It will shuffle the pictures in random order as they come up. And as before, I'm going to unselect the clock on this one. And we say preview, and then you can see it in full screen. And the pictures will keep changing. And once you load pictures onto your Mac, or if you already have, you can actually select a folder. To get out of the preview, you should just be able to move the mouse, press escape, or go to the lower right hand corner to exit out. This is a perfect segue to venture into hot corners. If you look in the lower right hand corner of this particular window, if you select hot corners, what hot corners are is if you look in the four corners, if you notice I'm going down here and nothing's happening, and upper right hand corner, upper left hand corner, and lower left hand corner, nothing happens. But if I select from this list of items, screen saver, disable screen saver, mission control, application window, desktop, dashboard, notification, launch pad, put display to sleep. So I'm gonna select the top item, start screen saver, for my lower left hand corner screen and I'll just say okay and demo that by going to that lower left hand corner screen it starts the screen saver so if you want to start the screen saver quickly before walking off or if you're doing something at your desk that you may not want others looking over your shoulder to see you can just use that hot corner to slide down if you're coming from the Windows environment and you're used to show desktop on Windows, if you select desktop for the lower right hand corner, it will have the same effect. By going to that lower right hand corner, it reveals, and if you go back, it toggles off and on just as though you were using show desktop on, on Windows. And I will select mission control for the upper right hand corner and lunch pad which will display all of the applications on your machine for the upper left hand corner and say okay so now if i go to the upper right you see the cascading i will open i'm opening an additional finder window so you can get a better effect of mission control. So you go to the upper right. Now mission control kicks in so you can see all the windows you have open. We will discuss miss mission control further in later videos. And now if we go to the upper left hand corner launch pad. You see it displays all of the applications I have on my Mac. Well, that's it. Hopefully, this has been somewhat beneficial to you. My name is Richard L. Scott with Great Scott Demos, and thank you for watching. Please click the like button if you're watching this on YouTube, or give us a plus one on Google Plus if you like the video. And please subscribe to the feed for more Great Scott Demos. I could not be great except for God's grace. Thanks again and be blessed.